Good morning, students. Let's continue with chapter number six, bar graph, module three. In this module, we are going to cover extra questions. Reading a bar graph. Question number one. Let's read the question. Children in a city use different modes of transport to reach school. Mode of transport and number of students is given below in graph. Read the given bar graph or the figure and answer the following questions. Now let's see the figure. Now this is the bar graph. You can see mode of transport on the x-axis and number of students on the y-axis. And the scale which is considered is on y-axis, one centimeter is equal to five students. Now let's take up the first question. What type of figure it is? Now dear children, you can see a bar graph which is uh, having only one quantity. That is the bar graph is not divided into uh, different parts. So, such a type of bar graph is called as simple bar graph. You will be learning different types of bar graph like joint bar graph, percentage bar graph in the coming years. So we can write answer as it is a simple bar graph. Let's go to question number two. Which mode of transport is used by the most of the students. Now dear children, just check which is the rectangle with the highest height. You can see the first rectangle with the green color having the highest height. You can see an arrow which is corresponding to 40 students. So the most of the students come to school by walking. So we can write the answer as answer two. Most of the students walk to school. Third question, how many students come to school by bus? Let's see. Third rectangle with a purple color shows the number of students who travel by bus. Now this height of the rectangle corresponds to 35. You can see this with the help of an arrow pointing towards the y-axis. So we can write the answer. 35 students come to school by bus. Question number two. Let's read the question. Names of vehicles and their number in a village is given in the graph. Read the given figure and answer the following questions. Now dear children, we are, we are given a graph in which names of vehicles are given on the x-axis and their number in a village is given on the y-axis and the scale considered is on y-axis, one centimeter is equal to five vehicles. Let's read the question now and uh, let's answer it with the help of graph. First question, which vehicle is least in number and how much? So we need to find out the number which is least. Now we can see least means uh, we need to find out the rectangle which is smallest one. See this arrow which is pointing towards the y-axis. This arrow is pointing towards 5. So we can write the answer rickshaws are least in number and how many rickshaws are there just check it this arrow is pointing towards 5 so we can write there are 
five rickshaws. Second question, how many bicycles are there in a village? Now bicycles, see this first, see this first rectangle. This rectangle is having the highest height and it is pointing towards 30. Let's see what is the number with the help of an arrow. Perfectly we can check. This arrow is pointing towards 30. So we can write the answer. There are 30 bicycles in a village. Let's go for the next question. Question number three. Find the difference between the number of motorcycle and rickshaw. Now let's find out the number of motorcycle and number of rickshaw separately first. You can see an arrow which is pointing towards the y-axis and this arrow shows us the number of motorcycles so there are how many motorcycles in a village children yes 25 so there are 25 motorcycles in a village now let's see the number of rickshaws number of rickshaws let's check is pi we have already seen that in uh, first uh, exam first sub question so we can write the answer now the number of motorcycle is 25 and rickshaw is pi and the difference will be 25 minus 5 that is bigger number minus smaller number and the difference is 20 Now dear children, I hope you understood how to read a bar graph. So you need to solve these extra questions in the notebook. So you can write only answers. Question as well as answer you can write. No need to draw the graph again since it's a question where we need to only read. Thank you.